Bhagavad Gita, text 1.10 Our strength is immeasurable, guarded as it is by Bhishma, whereas their force, guarded by Bhima, is limited. Expertise in social etiquette is the ornament of cultured people. However, just as looks can deceive, so can words for those who do not understand their intent. Duryodhana certainly has every appearance of a cultured gentleman. Although Duryodhana addressed Drona with flattering words, the spirit of his address is denigrating. The veiled spirit of Duryodhana's address is that Drona, being a Brahmana, is not fit for battle. In the text 8, Duryodhana praises Bhishma only after first praising Drona. Although Bhishma is senior, Drona is Duryodhana's guru. Drona is a Brahmana, whereas Bhishma is of the warrior caste. Had he addressed Bhishma first, Drona might have taken offense, but Bhishma, although senior, would bow down to etiquette of respecting a Brahmana over a Kshatriya, warrior. While Duryodhana praises Bhishma, he also expresses doubts about him. Bhishma is certainly the greatest fighter on the battlefield, and thus Duryodhana's army has immeasurable strength when fortified by Bhishma's presence. However, the word aparyaptam, immeasurable, can be taken in two ways. Immeasurable, extensive or uncertain. And acharyas like Vishwanath, Chakravarti Thakur and Baladeva Vidyabhushana have rendered verse 10 differently because of these two meanings. Baladeva Vidyabhushana understands aparyaptam to indicate the strength of Duryodhana's army because of the military capability of Bhishma. Vishwanath Chakravarti, on the other hand, understands aparyaptam to indicate the potential weakness of Duryodhana's army. Bhishma's commitment to Duryodhana is questionable, owing to his affinity for the Pandavas for whom he acted as a foster grandfather. Outwardly, Duryodhana's army is fortified by the strength of Bhishma. Yet under scrutiny, Bhishma is in a position of potential compromise and this may weaken Duryodhana's army. The word abhirakshitam in this verse can also imply Watch out for Bhishma. We cannot be entirely sure of his commitment. Duryodhana wants to rally Bhishma and at the same time alert others to the reality of the sympathies that might compromise his resolve to fight. Bhima is no doubt the most powerful of the Pandavas warriors and in this sense their leader although not officially so. However, he is no match for Bhishma, around whom Duryodhana's army must rally, both because of Bhishma's military might and because of his sentiment for the Pandavas. The army must both encourage Bhishma to express his military prowess and discourage him from expressing his parental affection.